What's going on YouTube? It's your friend Siren Frost, and I'm back back again with the trial deck challenge. Um, so I decided to just cut this out of the video. I just or just turn off the video right now and just hurry and make make my own version of the deck. So I'm giving you guys my thoughts and what cards, the reason why I chose them, and what or why not I didn't use. So um, this is gonna be what I call a trial deck profile of. Um, Asha, but it features more about the bloom ability than anything else. So Asha's bloom, I guess we can call it. I don't know. I thought that sounds kind of sounded cool. Um, so for for grade zeros, um, I chose only one Ingrid remaining Ida, just because. Now I can I do have the option. I'm keeping for a playset of my great my starting Vanguard, just in case I decided to go right hand and make this deck a little bit more plausible. I guess. If that's the right word to say. Um, I basically just chose one because that's just how I usually start my, my games. And people can have their own entitlement although they want. But what Ida does basically is she's a forerunner and GB1 is... Counter active ability is counter blast one and put this into your soul. Choose a card from your drop zone, put it at the bottom of your deck. And if that card has a bloom ability, you can draw a card. So it helps you get a free card basically. And her other skill is you rear guard, rest this unit, choose two of your units, and then to the end of this turn, those units will be regarded as having each other's cards names. I think this may work for the combo with Turia and Katrina, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. So yeah, one of her, just in case, you know, it's... Um, next for my trigger lineup, I'm going to play a rainbow, which is pretty much typical in my language. Um, damn, these things are going to get these cards out. not so good, though. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're playing four heel triggers named Color Pixie Quitari. So, four of her. I love the artwork on here, to be honest with you guys. I think she's very beautiful, very... And I'm very huge fan of fairies. Even in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm addicted to fairy types. And next we're playing four Autumn more, more Apples, just for draw triggers. The reason why I'm not playing Monkey Board because, well, it's a monkey. And I don't like monkey that much. They shit on your face. And even though Monkey Pod um, basically says, choose choose one of your units and that unit gets plus 3,000 power and put this in your soul. Watch your head now, doggy. No. Okay, so anyways, so I just chose not to play it, and even though it might be a good challenge for me just to play it, but I just don't like the name Monkey Pod. I really don't. Um, next, for we're playing a critical name is Agave Knights, just because he looks sexy as fuck. And then finally, for uh, Pleading Main, Amire, just for stats. So we are playing basically a rainbow in this deck. Um, I will make a deck profile update or, yeah, an update of the Rhinoculus Omen and Asha deck. But for right now, I think this is the best I like to do for this challenge. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, I encourage you guys to, to just create a challenge for yourself. Um, create, like, um, a, a, an amateur Luar deck or an Asha deck. Or an alt mile deck, or Chrono Jet, um, Hari, Night Rose, just anything that fits your mind and your playstyle that you think might be good for your playstyle. Now, it has been a long time for me since I did play Neo Nectar. Not gonna lie, no shade there, but this is my thought on it. So, um, so we're playing four copies of Crest Ibis Val um, Color Valkyrie Nelly. What she does is a very given. A give or take kind of effect. Continuous regard during your turn, this unit gets plus 1000 power for each of your other um, Crescent, Ibis, Color, Valkyrie, Nellies on the, on the rear guard circle. So she gains 1000 power. So if you have like multis on the field, they may gain power from each other. So let's see. If you have four in the field, that will give you basically 4000 extra uh, power. So You'll be saving for 11k attacking or 11k to, um, boosting. So, I think it might be a good thing to have. Honestly. 
Next, we're playing four Ravaging Main Penelopes. Um, I'm just going to read what Penelope does because I forgot Robot. So she has a bloom effect. Uh, shut up. Uh, Rare Guard Soul Blast 1. When your other unit with the same card name as this unit is placed on, vet, on Rare Guard Circle, pay the cost. And if you do, choose up to three of your Rare Guards and then to the end of that turn, they get 2,000 power and a new auto skill. Rare Guard GB1. When this unit boosts a unit with a bloom ability, this unit gets 2,000 power in the end of that battle. So, since the whole deck is consistent of bloom, of bloom, ability, bloom units, this will not be a problem at all. I like that ability just because it helps you get more boosting going on. And since she's a bloom ability herself, you know, it's, it's a give or take kind of thing. And next, we, we have four of the, G per, of the perfect guards, Piss Tatio. Um, I don't want to say it's a piss card because I don't want nobody getting pissed on me for that. Literally. Heh, <laughs> I made it a little funny. Um, so I think it's like a little hot tamale, but you guys tell me what you guys think what this fruit or veggie is. And then finally, we're playing two Maple Leaf Squires. Now, I do have the option of making, I may be playing four of these guys and take out one um, Penelope or one Nelly, but I think this is a better give and take kind of thing because. His skill requires a generation break one. So it'll be a little while for me to even bother using that effect. And with 6k attacking, you know, a 6k power, I think I'd much rather have him at two than, you know, at four just because it makes a little bit more sense to me. You guys are entitled to your opinions of what, what you think is probably best for this little challenge, but this is all I'm working with. Like, this is a challenge for me as well. All right. Next, uh, for grade twos, we're playing four of the Osmosis, Osmethis, Maiden, Anelma. I've seen um, Tokoha play her as one of her mains, her main monsters. And Anelma is a very much of a bitch to get over sometimes. Not always, but there are some. And I'm going to read her effects just because I have the copy of the cards right here. So, um, um, Anelma's Bloom, GB1, when, you're, uh, when your other unit with the same same card name as this unit is placed, in, placed on Rear Guard Circle, choose up to three of your units and they get 2,000 power in the end of the turn. And if you have a Vanguard with Renoculus in its card name, this unit gets boost into the end of the turn. Oh, so it is another Renoculus card. So see, it works. So you need uh, Thuria and her to complete a little bit of a combo. Shut up. Sorry, guys. My dog's just whining like crazy. Because she wants to play. Too bad. And then for uh, grade twos, we're playing three or four copies of Interrogating Irrigating Maiden Ramona. And her skill is... If I can find it, there's a copy in her somewhere. Alright. Um... So, her continuous effect is, during your turn, if the number of your un other units with the blue ability is two or more, this unit gets 2,000 power, and auto new auto skill, generation break one, regard, and it's a new ability with counter blast. When this unit um, attacks, hits the vanguard, you may pay the cost, and if you do, look at the five cards, eight, no, 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 no pause on the table. Look at the five cards from the top of your deck. Search for up to one card with the bloom ability from among them. Reveal it, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. So this will help you search out another card with a bloom ability. And this dog is trying to take me away. <laughs> um. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry about that. My dog is just like is bored, so she needs some playtime. Um. The, but we're gonna play it later, okay? I'm gonna get done with this. I need to make this video. All right. So, and then final three copies of the 10k Vanilla um, Mir Miritaki Manjuru. I think it's a mushroom, but I don't really know because it looks more like a little sam miniaturized samurai. <laughs> but it's so cute though, overall. I'm I'm loving these new cards. Like, I'm so glad I spend what's left of my federal tax money for this shit. And I'm just kidding guys, I didn't spend all of it. I just spend what I need. Or I'm
<laughs> so, um, and finally for grade threes for the main deck, we're playing, of course, four copies of the main bitch herself, Renaculous Flower Maiden Asha. And luckily, I have another copy of her here somewhere. I'm just, where the hell is she? She didn't find her. Where the hell is she? Up in this beach. Where is uh, ah, there it is. A copy. And her skill is, of course, we all know what she really does from the original alter, original art from Monaco's Asha. Um, but in case you guys don't know, I'll just go ahead and read it. Generation Break 2, Continuous Vanguard Rearguard. During your turn, you give another unit with the same card name as this unit. This unit gets plus 5,000 power. Uh, which we hardly ever use that anyways. Um, her stride skill is Caraglass 1, choose one of your rear guards and search for up to one card the same name as that unit from your deck, call to rear guard and shuffle your deck. And that unit called with this effect gains plus 2,000 power at the end of turn. So we all kind of know what she does, basically, and it's a really sickening effect. So basically, most of us who are neo Nectar players, we use that second stride, that stride skill a lot more than her GB2 ones, so... And then finally, we're playing four copies of Abundant Flower Maiden Patricia. Everyone is saying basically she's a waifu card, but I don't get the whole waifu thing. Like, I think that's just complete bogus and a whole weeaboo thing. So, I think it's just a complete bullshit. That's what I just personally think. But her skill is um, Abundant Flower Maiden's ability. She has a bloom effect. When your other unit with the same card name is as this unit is placed on a rear guard circle, this unit gets plus 6,000 power in the end of turn. So this works uh, from vanguard and rear guard. So that's oh, I'm sorry, I bumped the camera. And so that's basically what it does, and I love it. So, I love how it looks. And okay, you crazy mutt, stop it, stop it. All right, so that is the conclusion for uh, the main deck. Now for the extra deck, since we're only using cards. Own, from the trial deck only in this challenge, I decided to go right ahead and just say what the hell. I'm. It requires four flower princes, flower princes of faith, Celine. Um, Celine's ability is, kind of boss one. When this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, pay the cost. And if you do, choose up to one card from your hand, called a rear guard, and that unit gets plus five thousand power into the end of turn. If the unit is called has the bloom of bloom effect. Counter Charge 1 and Soul Charge 1. So it's a very generic card, but this card should be an essential for all New Nectar players and who is willing to play Flower Princesses. I love the effect for that reason, and I love the artwork because it's very exotic and it's very, like, er kind of erotic kind of details. But anything, plants are basically erotic. But, yeah. So that concludes this challenge of the Trial Deck profile of... Rhinoculus, Bloom, whatever you want to call it, Rhinoculus, or Asha. Um, this is just my own my own take on the build. Um, you guys can create your own build as much as you want. That's why I ensure you guys this challenge. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this build. What you guys, th what you guys think about these challenges that, that you think is a good, th good idea. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So be sure to subscribe, comment down below, mm -hmm. th comment rate it thumbs up for it give us some love and i'll see you guys in the next video so thank you for watching have a great day and have a great weekend see you guys bye